Hey guys, Turbo here, and today we're gonna play a game of Face It. And I finally got the 10 year veteran coin after a decade of playing this game. So Face It is the best way to play CSGO. And the big reason why is because it's on 128 ticks. So if you guys don't already play Face It, I would highly recommend it. It's pretty, it's pretty spicy. That's a spicy meatball. Man. All right, so after first in the last game, we had a Dodger. So now we're doing overpass. And Dodgers are a huge problem because if one person doesn't connect, then it just ends the game and everyone wasted their time. Luckily, it's a little bit easier to get into the next game when that happens, but it's still kind of a big, 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 big inconvenience. I hate it. Face it, please fix. So right here, I actually knifed the guy and I didn't, I thought it might've been a teammate and I wasn't hundred percent sure. And we just got outplayed. He's water. See, see, destroyed. He was out on site. <laughs> What do you mean this team blows purple? You weren't even paying attention. I mean, the horrible call up, bro. You guys didn't. You, you didn't even see where he was. Man. Man. Man, you're just tripping. You're muted and reported. Man. <laughs> oh my God, that is the most sensitive gamer on the planet. I said, man, you're tripping. And then he was like, oh my God, you're muted. You're reported. I Sometimes hate Sometimes the face experience is just absolutely. AIDS. True, it's true. Face it is really hit or miss. Oh god, I gotta run. Run! Which run back long? to the site. No! Okay, I made it to safety. One long, too long. Just waiting patiently. That's a big part of CSGO. Oh my god, I whiffed so many times. Jesus. <laughs> Nice try. Hey, nice try. Hey, feels good, man. Flash, bro. All right, I'll see you guys later. I'm always my time. Oh, and our teammate left. He just rage quit. He just he gave up. That is the worst mentality to have when you're playing CS:GO. Just leaving and giving up without even trying. It's sad. It's pathetic, and you shouldn't do it. At least stay for the entire game. You either win as a team or you lose as a team. Yo, Kieran's get rid of this turbo guy. Dude. Why? You're toxic. Let's go. I don't know. Throwing, toxic, horse team. I think you're throwing. I'm literally carrying. The fuck are you talking about? You're tripping. How are you carrying when I have you have I have more kills than anyone else on the team. What are you talking about? Seven. You have six. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I was just trying to like... I was trying to like rustle his jimmies a little bit just to make him play better so he would play more competitively. It was all part of the plan. I was just there to kind of goad him up to make him play at his absolute best so we actually had a chance to win the game. Like, if you say, I'm carrying, then someone else who's super competitive is going to want to like step up and try to, you know, oh, frag you. And if they're on the same team, then that's overall a good thing. To be honest though, I was just kind of messing around this game too. Also, I've been playing way too much Modern Warfare 2 lately. I've been playing a lot of Halo Infinite as well. And I'm really rusty when it comes to CSGO. So my flicks are absolutely not on point. I can hit some of them, but I can't hit every single one like I used to. So I guess all I have to do is just, I just have to do more aim training straight up. Oh, baby, give me that 4K. <laughs> so essentially what I did with this gameplay is I basically just cut out, like, basically the best moments. Because, I mean, there was... This game lasted... I don't, actually, I don't want to spoil it, but it was almost two hours. It was a very long game. Many overtimes were played. Or, did we just choke? Who knows, right? But after being down 7-1, we started to really step our game up, and we really started to win more rounds. And we were getting so close to overtime.
Yeah, as you guys can see, my sprays are kind of not that great. <laughs> I have that COD recoil right now. Oh, by the way, this jump spot is so good. And it actually worked out in my favor. So I'm, a, I'm on a 3k. That's a 4k. And now I'm just giga chatting it up. Give me that ace, baby. Let's go. Oh, baby, give me that ace. Yeah, the way I said it there was kind of cringy. There we go. Yet another round going in our favor. By the way, so at this point, actually two of our teammates ended up leaving, so it was a 3v5, and we just had two bots. But luckily, I guess that was good for us, because, I mean, me and the other guy, the other toxic guy, we were just able to just pick up the bots and just get even more frags. And yes, this is how I op every single time. <laughs> like... One of my biggest inspirations for when I op is actually simple. I try to go for those insane, ridiculous flicks, but I'm not even remotely close to being as good as simple. But, hey. I mean, if it works, it works, right? I mean, it's just the playstyle that works the best for me, because I like to be aggressive. I like to get up all in their face. And I like to just push the... I like to just push it. Like, I'm way too aggressive to be a CSGO player, but you know what? Hey. Especially in 2022, being aggressive isn't necessarily that bad. Aw oh, man, three to go. Here we go. And there we go. Got the kill. We won yet another round. And of course, at this point, we are well into overtime. Oh, gotta stick it. You gotta stick it, dude. Just throw the smoke down, stick it with a kit. Oh, there's nothing they can do. Oh, baby. 1v4. Let's get it. By the way, there's so little time left, and I, I want to try to get the bomb down, but it's just so risky. But I noticed there's one guy heaven, and then I'm, I assume that someone else is going to come from graffiti. Got him. Got him. Clutch the round. Give me that 1v4 clutch. That. Dude, you're lucky. I'm really good at this game. You're lucky. I can't. I literally can't believe. No bomb. 4k. 1v4. Dude, this is some content. Listen, 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 though. I mean, hey, dude. Some hey. Kind of stupidity on the other team, though. Come hey, on. We're di we disagree on a lot of stuff, but we're a pretty good team. Not going to lie. Like, I'll give that one to you, but like, wow, bro. Why? Yeah, he's a truck. Wah, wah. I got wrecked. Actually, all of us got wrecked. Here, flashing. Oh, this flash is so good. At this point, someone on their team actually got tired and they ended up leaving because they just couldn't handle it, man. This, this is just too many rounds of Counter-Strike for one regular low level face a game by the way oh yeah pulling out my inner brokey oh scared him off pushing him back to con easy yep. let's go Unlucky. Grenade out. That makes three. That makes two. Oh, <laughs> good thing you didn't check. Throwing fire. Go on, bank. Come on, truck. Truck get it down. Get it down. Yeah, and then I just decided to hide hit behind truck through a nade and we knew he was sticking it and we sprayed it and there was no way he was going to get that don't worry i got your back man i got your back yeah, dead. 
We can push him. Here, I'm just going to plan B. There we go. Get okay. that bomb down. And now, I was anticipating a move like that because, I mean, it was either that or heaven. Oh, man. Gotta love it when they just slow peek you when you have an op. Oh, Brokey time. Here we go. Chilling and con, hitting my shots exactly like Brokey. I mean, this is the spot that Brokey plays in all the time. And to be honest, oh, it's great. I love it. Like, con with an op can be so good as long as they don't, like, push you from the bottom. And right here, this is just so awkward. I'm just trying to, trying to spot an enemy, but there's a big old smoke on site. They threw another smoke, and I just have nothing to work off of. Like, all I can do is just sporadically swing my mouse around. I got one. Went for the second, but I whiffed it. God. They threw a trillion smokes. I mean, short, I couldn't see shit. Like they were behind smokes on my end. Yeah, honestly, that guy had the worst, uh, like, attitude. He's so negative. He's so toxic. He's like, oh my god, you guys suck. Blah, 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 this and that. And he, he thinks he's so good, even though he's playing on a brand new account. So, potentially, either he just started playing Face It, or he's playing on a Smurf account. Or, I mean, he could have switched from ESCA or whatever, but... I don't know. His attitude is just so bad. It's so negative. And if you're like that on Face It, then you're putting your team at a massive disadvantage. Straight up. Wow. Oh, and he what left. Lol. Yeah, that guy was just, he was just molding. He was salty. He was mad. But I wasn't going to go down without a fight. <laughs> you know, even though it was, well, now it's a 2v4. I have the scout in hand and I'm just, I'm hitting my shots. Not gonna lie, I'm just go I'm just ha I'm just having fun. Just going for some content, you know, trying to win the game. But obviously, the odds of us winning are very, very low since we literally have three bots on our team, and the bots are kind of dumb. Hey, at least I pulled out the round. But after this, this is where it starts to fall apart. I just kind of go in, giga chatting it up, winning my gunfights, and yeah, I mean, a two v five, not very winnable. <laughs> and then right here, this is kind of a dumb move. I got a little too aggressive and tried to spam him through the smoke, but I had the AK and he, he saw the tracers and it just didn't work. And then here we are. I'm just trying to pull something back, just trying to pull a couple rounds through so we can make it to the next overtime, but unfortunately. It was that three people left. They couldn't handle it, but GG, man. Yeah, we lost. But. I mean, hey, so throughout the entire course of the game, including my kills as well as the kills I got as the bot, I made it up to 86, which is a new record for me. I've never even come close to the 80 bomb, but hey, oh God, it is frustrating to lose a game like that, especially where you have multiple teammates who just leave. But ladies and gentlemen, just remember to never go down without a fight on Face It, because even if you're at a disadvantage, you can still make the comeback. And I mean, sometimes it's just not meant to be, but oh my God. What a crazy game. So if you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like, leave a comment down below letting me know. Just let me know what you guys thought about that game. Three teammates left, I dropped 86 frags, and we still lost. Also, make sure to subscribe with the bell icon rung. Join the Discord server if you haven't already, because I want to start picking up some of you guys to do some more events in the future. And overall, I hope you guys have a great and safe rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching, guys. It's Turbo, and I'm Salty, and I'm out. Peace.